I know we've squandered too much time, but we are the good guys, and we are trying to fight the banal evil among us. And we promise never to get high at work again. Remember when we promised the universe that we wouldn't have sex on the first day? Shh. So please, please help us remember our good idea. Amen. The new buzz meeting was moved up, which was fine at first, until I realized that if you two screw this up, it reflects badly on me. So I demand to hear what you have. We see this woman. Living rooms in shambles. There's crap everywhere. Probably hasn't cleaned in years. The kids are running wild. And she's lazing around eating one of those foot-long sub sandwiches, but not one of those low fat ones. And she's watching TV, and then we hear her washer. Ding! She heads off, comes back a millisecond later with this clean, perfectly folded basket. And the announcer goes, new buzz detergent. Nothing's better at cleaning your clothes. The rest of your life is, is up, up to you. you. <laughs> See, I told you Ken High would pay off. Oh, please. We've always done great work without the help of our friend Mary Jane. Like that tampon commercial. Everybody in the pool! Oh, we should have just trusted ourselves and not panicked. Now? We'll never know. You're right. Next time, let's just sniff the markers. <laughs> JJ. I had the worst nightmare that I thought I was going to start this theme park and I wore the same clothes two days in a row and you got really, really mad at me and you wound up with a different partner, maybe? And I regretted it for the rest of my life. It was a really long dream. Holly, I'm sorry. I never even meant to... I, I am so sorry that I'm flight of fancy -ish. No, me. Me. I'm the one who's sorry. But I'm really the sorry. -ish. Okay, let's not be sorry anymore. Let's just all love each other. <laughs> And JJ, I do care about this job. And the best part of it is working with you. So if you really want to get on Kip's team, then I'm in. Great. Then we'll go for it. And there's room for both of us. Okay. But in the meantime, do you think you can maybe try to do stuff like mm, show up on time? I can promise to intend to. <laughs> I can definitely leave my cell phone on. Oh, that is so <laughs> sweet. That's right, Jay. Up until recently, ecstasy has been mostly a white teen problem. But sadly, there's been an increase of the use of the drug in the hip-hop community. Well, I love L.A. The sun, the beaches, the surfing. But you know what other city I love? Chicago. What's up, y'all? We in Chicago. And we're standing right in front of Harpo Productions, home of the Oprah Winfrey Show. She's my mentor. And did you know that she's one of the richest women in the world? I did know that. That's why I hit her up for $2 million over there. Can I have that? Why not? <laughs> I aspire to be a positive. I mean, I am a positive role model. But every day, you know, I'm not perfect. I'm learning just as you guys are learning. So um, I'm trying to be a positive influence, try to not make any mistakes, try to get out there and help and learn and um, give it all up to God. Right. Hey, what's going on, BET? Okay, so as you know, we went on a summer tour all around the country. Jay showed you his hood in D.C. and Think Q showed you his hood in NY. And now we're here in fabulous L.A., home of movie stars, fashion, just everything that's fabulous. And you know, one of my favorite things to do is stop. So we're right here on Melrose, and I'm going to go shopping. Uh, here, guys, don't forget this. Yo, what you thinking? These. Is that right? I'm not carrying anything else. I've been carrying stuff all summer long. All you guys do is pick on me. Hey, get back here! I'm not carrying all this stuff. Come here! The sun might not you be down, but it's definitely warm in there. Oh. You know, Miami cool. We gotta go back to I love Miami. I got my shop on. We had great food. Yeah, and the salt water tastes great. <laughs> 